Hey guys, and welcome to another Red Gaming Tech video where we're going to be taking a look at Top Gun Hard Lock on the PC. I am using an Xbox 360 controller for this. I did briefly attempt to try it with um, keyboard and mouse, and let's just say the control scheme is not particularly um, endearing. I don't even believe it fully supports mouse correctly. Um, anyway, I haven't really tried it with that. Um, this is the options menu, as you probably can guess. Uh, I'm going to turn these up a bit because I've kind of got the volumes a bit low. Anyway, uh, it does support various graphical resolutions and control uh, functions. I'll show you the controls real quick. It's pretty simple stuff. Um, anyway, uh, graphics options are fairly limited. It's pretty much just a medium, high or low. I'm going to be, of course, running it on high. Uh, easy is actually fairly challenging, although I'm not sure if it's because I'm really new to the game and therefore suck, or if the controls are just a bit imprecise, but we'll have an attempt. Anyway, I was trying Danger Zone, which is pretty much like a challenge, Max, um, but we'll try Campaign for a while, and then if that's not to our liking, we can always go back to Danger Zone. Well, it'll be the first time you guys have actually seen uh, Danger Zone, to be fair. Okay, so we have a high score and a rank. It's somewhat similar, actually, to, say, Afterburner in some ways, although obviously a lot more uh, in-depth and complicated than now. Congratulations on graduating from Top Gun Spider. You've made quite an impression on the instructors. Maverick tells me you're one of the best pilots he's seen from the 2012 That's update. nice. We're giving you a chance to prove he's right about it. So... We've accepted your request for a transfer to the USS McKinley in the Persian Gulf. That's awesome. One of our allies in the region was recently overthrown by a military coup. And the McKinley's in force Ah, good old military coups. The standard story of pretty much Hollywood and games since, well, time began. Changed since the Cold War. The war was more hostile than ever before. So this is where your real training begins. Good luck, Spider. Thank you. I can finally skip. Now, we are given... Um, in other modes, should I say. Various option. That just pleases me, I'm sorry. The fact that it says shooters just detains me somewhat. Um, in other modes, for example, uh, Danger Zone, you're actually given a list of different maps, I must, sorry, planes, and I'm assuming that's the same on here. However, as you can see, there are no other options other than this rather interesting craft. And the models actually are fairly nice. I will say they've actually put quite a lot of detail. I mean, I'm no playing enthusiast, but I can see there are quite a lot of details there. Even, for example, inside the engines, that's fairly detailed. I'm pretty sure someone out there is a plane nut and might be able to tell me more. See, you know, to how actually accurate they are. Radar's down too. I can't get a weapon lock. Okay. Now, music is very reminiscent of actual the movies. Now we can shoot with simply pressing A. Switching missiles to auto target. Okay. Go for the hard lock. Right, now we have an auto lock and we can just simply press B and blow them out of the sky. Down, go. Break right. Whee! Yeah, damn right that was good. Now, I think we'll target. I kind of just like the fact that slow death is creeping towards them. I must admit that does kind of please me somewhat. Anyway, two days earlier apparently. Shooter 103, you're clear to launch. Now flaps down and ladder up. Move. Okay. So the arrows disappear. That was not exactly the most challenging takeoff. I have a feeling that pilots around the world are probably cringing at that. Although, of course, this is supposed to be somewhat arcadey. Now, you will notice the graphics actually look kind of nice. Now, we're going to be ex somewhat accelerating, so we have a nav point head to. I quite like the water effects, I must admit. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Right, we're approaching target. Should be just a few more moments. The music is definitely reminiscent of the movie, which is good. Now, voice acting isn't terrible. It's not the best, but it's certainly, you know, quite pleasing. And 
close. Okay. We have mix and we therefore must shoot them apparently. Oh dear, oh dear. Now we have a nice lock. They can have one missile. I feel that that's probably good for their health. And they can have another one actually because they just want to die apparently. Uh, let's see. Right, let's try and speed up and make a little bit of distance up to this guy. Uh, he's still at a fair distance away. I am somewhat closing in, however. I'll keep a nice tight angle on him. There we go, we've got a nice auto target. target acquired. Get on his ah, sort of. Whoa! He is not playing fair. By that, I mean he's shooting at me now. Getting close. We're in the zone. Going okay. Line. I'm going for a hard lock, apparently. Oh dear, I really did not see that coming. Sad face. Alright, so, let's just start where that began, where that left off. So, as I was saying, the controls are not bad. Uh, they are somewhat responsive, although they do take a bit of getting used to. Okay. Awesome. Oh dear. That could have been very unpleasant. Getting close. We're in the zone. Going for a hard lock. Come here, my old mucker. I want to shoot you in the face. Come on. I have a feeling I probably do not want to get in this guy's target since they are no doubt infinitely better pilots than me at this point. Come on. Come on. The sweet stench of death follows you. You can't just move when I'm getting a hard lock on you. I don't feel that's fair. I feel that the AI needs to learn that it's place in the world. Okay, come on. Come on, just a second longer. Lock, damn you. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to shoot you with my gun. Fair enough. Now, I do actually quite like the controls. On, I'm. There we go. Come on. There we go, he's blowed up, he's blowed up nicely. Right, now, if this little fella can just... Shoot him? Shoot him? Okay. There we go, second missile is just for prosperity. Now... The tech, the only thing I will say is I do wish the textures were slightly better on the PC. Um, it's not terrible. Uh, Controls are shot to hell. Hang in there, I'll get him off your tail. At some point, I'm sure I'll, you know, insist on it. There we go. Most people don't like to be shot twice with missiles. I sustained engine damage and we're running on fumes. Understood. Get back on deck ASAP. Okay, so now we will activate all of our speed. Shooter 103 requesting a flyby. Negative. The pattern is full. Let it go, Spider. Head for the recovery point. Okay, we're about 50% distance. I love the music, it's so reminiscent of the film. I haven't seen the film in a long time, but it does actually put me in the mood to watch it. The cheesy 80s music and everything else was just amazing. Okay, line us up with the carrier and bring us in low. I have a really... Left a bit, come left, left a bit, come left, left a bit, come left. Abort, abort, take her back round. <laughs> Let it go, spider. <laughs> Head for the recovery point. <laughs> that was not ideal. <sighs> okay. Line us up with the carrier and bring us in low. Almost there. I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to land. But ah, there we go. That was infinitely better. <laughs> Touchdown. The military regime's threatening reprisals. Seems I've always said that the flying the part of things has never been the concern. Take this line down. No, 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 no. It's never even been the taking off that's the concern. It's the velocity you approach the ground and therefore land that's the concern. 
Okay, so you can actually replay old missions if you choose the, um, you know, to get higher score or whatever, which is always nice. It's always nice to be able to do that. I do wish you could skip this, because frankly I don't really care about, well, at least right now I don't particularly care about the story. I'm more interested in showing you guys stuff. No, sir. Just anxious to get started. All right, then. Spider, Bishop, you're up first. Don't disappoint me. See, that guy's voice acting was not the greatest. The previous people have not actually been so bad, though. Okay, once again, we've only got one. We have short-range air-to-air missile, long-range air-to-air missile. Fair enough. To engage them in a heart a lot. Guns are disabled, Spider. Time to see if your bite's as bad as your bark. Select long-range missiles and engage the target drone. Weapon selected, target designated. We're good to go. Okay, let's show the old man how it's done. Okay, I'm not quite sure how, but fair enough. So I suppose we continue to accelerate at a vast a very unsafe speed towards We're in weapons range. Targeting systems online. Take the shot. Splash one! Don't get too excited. Most targets won't be that easy. You need to overcome that ego of yours and work as a team. Rendezvous with wise guy at Echo. Okay. Live. One year on the Carter and we didn't fire a single round. One day at Top Gun, and we've blown up a drone before lunch. <laughs> That's your tax dollars in action. Hey, Spotter, this is Wise Guy. I got Punchline in the back seat. Nice to meet you. Enough for introductions. This is Top Gun, not a dating agency. Those long-range missiles are fine against... Yeah, we're not in the Navy armor, here, people. you've got to get closer to take down a skilled opponent. <laughs> not probably going to get some negative comments on that one. Multiple targets on radar. Coming in low. I got the one in front. Crap, so avoid. Switch targets, Spider. If you've come to the channel for kind comments in general, then it's just not going to happen well. Okay. Oh, apparently I'm on the other target. Never mind, I know. Oh, hello. I'm pressing X. Aha. Take the shot. I'm assuming we have to keep it in a relative lock. That's just a theory. I've no. I don't think missiles would work like that in real life. No, you're my target. You are my target. Target locked. Wow, you actually soldiered. I've not a shot. Yeah, not that guy. My wingman is about as much use as, say, my previous landing attempt was. He's kind of, he's not even flying at them menacingly, that's a sad thing. If he's flying at them menacingly, I could actually somewhat forgive him. Hmm. This guy really is not playing by the ball. Let's try and get a slight distance from him, I feel that might be appropriate. There we are. There we go. Ah, damn it. Basically, don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes. That was amazingly easier than the missiles, to be fair. Don't fire till the crosshair turns red. Okay, fair enough. That's a new course. They could have probably have told me that previously, but never mind, eh? Let's see how you do against our aggressor squadron. This will be a simulation, so disengage weapons. Rules. Get a hard lock on your target, and they're dead. Get locked yourself and your toast. Rendezvous with Fury first. You'll need all the help you can get. Ah, crap. You know this guy? It's not a guy. It's a girl. It's... It's complicated. Well, that's a nice long-ass distance away. Now, however, it does give me a really good uh, excuse to check out the lower buildings. 
I feel like I'm going to have to give these guys a flyby. I'm sure it will please them. This is a US Navy training facility, not a flying circus. There was just a second that I was like, am I too low to the ground? Am I going to redecorate their building? Damn, skip you perfect. We've got him now. Spider, I got Maverick on my six. Cool your jets, wise guy. I'm working on it. You're too quick for him, Spider. Alright. Ah. Loop. Come on. Yeah. Closing in. You got a beat for sure. Target locked. Oh, they're too old for this. I swear, every time I hear that now in movies, since Danny Glover said it back in Lethal Weapon, it makes me cry. Right, uh, we have another friend apparently. That's Maverick. I feel Maverick needs a Maverick. His exhaust pipe. I believe Maverick's on top of missile. I'm really hoping. We're on a six. Go for the hard I'm going for the hard lock on his sex, which sounds really wrong in every way you can say it, but there we go. Oh, gosh. Yeah, bitches don't know about my loot, man. Right. Oh, gosh, wrong way. This should be easy for you, Spider. You know, it'd be a lot easier if you stopped moving around. And... Oh, gosh. Oh, that is not good. Too slow, Spider. I've got you now. Right, clap. Yeah. Yeah, ninety-five percent. Getting quicker. Fire. Not bad, Spider. Next time I won't go easy on you. I failed on, on first time just to get the 95% on the second. No thanks to you. Honest. Huh, that ended that was some rather abruptly. Out there, Spider. I have a lock and stuff. And you might get your name on the trophy. He only won because our afterburners flaked out. If we'd got there on time. Admit it. You're just sore because you came in second. Bite me. Enough. Fair enough if she wants me to. Get out of my office and cool down. Anywho, moving on. You jokers really stirred up a hornet's nest. Keyhole satellites show enemy activity all along the coast. So today you're flying recon. Man, we're being punished. Take a closer look at these four sites. Anything suspicious, radio in and await orders. And stay alert. I don't want you getting shot down on a routine patrol. Yes, uh, what have we got? Soviet Star. Let's go with that. Yes, Navy Grey. That's just far too bright. I'll go with that one. I feel, although it's not native to me per se, well, I suppose we have red and blue on our flags. Anyway, um, why not? The slow you fly, tight to the turn in the circle of the aircraft. Makes sense. I with my little eye, something beginning with... Beep, 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 beep. Holy shit. McKinley, we have shorter ship missiles at Alpha Site. Engage. All right, okay, Let's nice looking level can. actually. Kind of like... Now obviously, on any of these games, you can't have a huge amount of ground detail for obvious reasons. It's one spider. of the same problems of say... Ah, my... Target capture. Good separation. Bye. You never know one as well. Uh, one of the same problems as, say, uh, oh, I don't know, the Microsoft Flight Sims. 
Um, obviously, it'll be a lot of stuff for the graphics card and uh, the processor too well um, processed. Okay, it's quite nice actually with the tighter view. And of course, it will then change as necessary. Now we'll have to go around the other way. Uh, the word fish in a barrel will come to mind. Now, obviously, we want to get a little bit of distance from these guys so we can destroy them at leisure. Target captured. Hit. There we go. Now, these guys are really starting to get on my. Oh dear! Oh! <laughs> If there are any crabs on that beach, they now know my name. The missiles do regenerate after a certain time. Yeah. I have a false sense of confidence in my skills now. What could possibly go wrong? Well, that was just somewhat disorientating hurry up kid they're not gonna kick back and wait for us to finish hell yeah okay now we have a second one target lock you know in a way I wish someone would make an airwolf game I know that it actually used to be one back in the day um, it was really awful. I think it was on the um, Strad CPC 464, just to give you an idea how old that was. Um, it was even pretty old when I was using it. Um, and it was a pretty awful game, actually, but a new version of Airwolf would be pretty amazing. I mean, they really rebooted Knight Rider. Not so successfully, I'll admit, but. What is this guy? Captain Scar? There we go. I do quite like the Sky Dome, it's nice. Controls are not that unresponsive, they do take a bit of getting used to. Um, after all, you can't exactly turn on a dime, you are play, uh, you know, flying, playing at several hundred miles an hour, so it makes sense. Shooters, we have bogeys on radar, closing on your position. I have nothing on my... Whoa, multiple contacts, close fast. Looks like enemy fighters. Let's give them a warm welcome. My only real Combat. complaint so Weapons far free. is the customization for the PC is... Well... Low. Lock him down. There we go. Die. Die, damn you. I will shoot you. I'm telling you I'll shoot you. I'll shoot you dead. There we go. Right. Uh, where's the other one? Where is the other fella? Music's not bad. Um, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. A couple of missiles should help. Well, yeah, he is going down. I've shot him repeatedly with a missile. That generally is what happens then. Um... That's right, Dead Eye. You take his fire, and then I'll take the glory. I feel that's the best approach for our friendship. So, as I was saying, the controls are not bad. I don't like the lack of customization for the PC options, particularly controls. Um, Gameplay-wise, it's pretty nice. It's not the best ever. I mean, you know, it's fun, and I definitely don't dislike it. It's fun, and it's enjoyable, and a friend of mine's also play it. Amata's actually also been playing it a little bit, and she quite enjoyed it. Um, however, I don't necessarily think it's the best game. Ooh. Think I saw something in that can. Want a closer look? Your call, Spider. Looks pretty tight. Hostile boats. We're being targeted. Oh dear. Fire at will. Yeah, I'm just going to do a bit con tactic. And I was hit and run. Now, where's the hell is that second target? What, well, awesomely? Yeah, alright. Let's go around, around, around. Air to ground. That's a lot. Good hit. Damn, good skip hit. it was a good hit. Another one. Too low. Don't worry about it. 
This guy is really apprehensive for some reason. Anyone would think that I risk death. We're locked. Another boat out of action. Yep. Graphics are not bad overall. Uh, lower resolution textures in a lot of areas, although you don't really notice it for the Check most up. part. Cityscapes are pretty nice. Um, overall, if you're interested in the film, you'll definitely play the game. That goes okay. without saying. If you're not a fan of the Just film, or you're not a fan of aircrafts and that kind of thing, you're probably, you know, might not be your cup of tea. If you're into something arcade or fun, this is definitely not a flight sim, as you can tell. By the fact that your missiles regenerate, for example. But overall, definitely worth checking out. Um, so yeah, uh, this is Top Gun Hard Lock for the PC, and I feel that that's demonstrated the game fairly well for you guys. So with that all said, take care and goodbye.